Hello viewers! As with any other mechanical component in a car, your automatic transmission has to be filled with fluid, which, besides lubricating moving parts, also generates hydraulic forces necessary for engaging and disengaging gears. And because of that, transmission fluid has to be the correct type and its level must be spot on. But topping up the transmission can sometimes be quite difficult and you may end up overfilling it. So how to tell if that's the case and more importantly what to do in such situation? Well that's exactly what we're going to find out in this video, so keep on watching. Overfilling the transmission can adversely affect its performance. However, if you overfilled it with half a quart or less, there's usually no need for action. If you overfilled your transmission with one quart or more, you should definitely consider draining it. If you're driving a newer car with a double clutch gearbox or CVT transmission, it may be a bad idea to drive around with too much transmission fluid. It is often quite easy to drain some transmission fluid and definitely worth doing if you have an expensive car. Especially when you consider all the potential consequences that you may face, which include the following. First, we have the transmission temperature. As you probably know, transmission fluid is responsible for keeping the gearbox cool. But as odd as it may sound, by adding too much of it, you could cause the transmission to overheat. And let me explain why this is so. When you overfill the transmission, the excess fluid will cause additional strain on the moving parts, meaning everything will have to work harder just to get the car going. And as a result, the transmission might overheat, especially under hard loads. As we just mentioned, putting more fluid in the transmission than it needs increases the pressure inside its housing. This pressure doesn't just cause fluid to leak out and overheat, but it can also bring air contamination in. Air contamination happens because the gears rotating inside are splashing liquid around, which causes a chemical reaction producing air bubbles and foam. This situation reduces the ability of the fluid to lubricate the internal parts, causing the next two problems we will discuss. The moving parts of the transmission require the right amount of lubricity to work correctly. By overfilling the transmission, the lubrication level isn't the same, leading to much faster wear. As the transmission continues being exposed to high pressure, you will start to notice issues with shifting and functionality. It could even lead to the next issue, complete failure. It's unlikely that your transmission will fail overnight as a result of too much fluid. However, leaving the issue unresolved is only asking for trouble. Over time, failure will occur from a combination of things. Whether you are dealing with a leaking seals, unlubricated metal parts, or the buildup of pressure, all of these things will take a toll on the transmission. Eventually, it may not work anymore. Ok, obviously, excessive transmission fluid is not something to be ignored. But how to tell if that's the case? Well, for one, you can try paying close attention to the symptoms. If you think you might have put too much fluid in the transmission, the problem is easy to spot by looking at the dipstick. You can pull out the dipstick and check the levels, but it's not always a reliable indicator. When the vehicle is running and heated up, the transmission fluid becomes thinner. If the vehicle has been sitting, it will have a much thicker texture. If you want to check your transmission fluid using the dipstick, it's best to warm up the engine first. If there seems to be an issue changing gears, there could be too much fluid in the system. When the pressure builds up, foam and bubbles can form, affecting the lubrication of the internal parts. This mixture creates other issues, such as difficulty shifting without the right amount of lubrication. You might notice hard shifts and slippage between gears as well. Sometimes, the first sign people get that there is a problem is when they spot a transmission fluid puddle under the car. Usually, transmission fluid is red, so it's not difficult to spot. Leakage tends to occur because of the seals break down from excessive pressure and buildup. The fluid looks for a way to escape the system, which causes the leaking. For the most part, your transmission shouldn't make any weird noises. If you start to hear a humming, grinding or whining, it could be a sign that something's wrong. Because the transmission is close to the engine, it can be difficult to determine where the noise is coming from. However, you might notice this in conjunction with other symptoms. Typically, the whining or humming occurs when the fluid level is off, while grinding indicates that gears are rubbing together because of insufficient lubrication. 
when the transmission doesn't contain the right amount of fluid, it needs to work harder and this inefficiency will also put a strain on the engine. Depending on how bad the situation is, the transmission can overheat, causing the engine to overheat as well. Keep an eye on the temperature gauge for an early indication that something's wrong. If there is too much transmission fluid, you'll need to remove some of it. This, however, isn't always that simple. Start by parking your car on a level surface, as this way you'll get an accurate fluid readings. Turn on the engine and let it heat up a little. This is because the whole drivetrain, including the transmission, needs to be as close to the normal operating temperature as possible to get an accurate reading. While waiting for the car to warm up, pop up the hood and find the transmission dipstick. This can sometimes be a bit tricky, so you may want to consult your owner's manual for the exact location of the dipstick. Once the car is at operating temperature, take the dipstick out of the transmission port, wipe it up with a shop rag and reinsert it back into the transmission. Remove the dipstick once again and check to see where the fluid is. There should be indicators on the dipstick for a quick evaluation. If you are not completely sure of how to do it, you can check your repair manual or service manual for exact instructions. And in the end, if you conclude that the transmission in your car is overfilled, there is only one thing to do – make it right. And here's how's that done. Some cars have a level plug somewhere on the transmission's housing, which can be used for this. Basically, what you do is turn on the car, let it run, undo the plug, and if there is any excess fluid, it will drain out. You can also choose to siphon out the fluid with a tube, but that can be complicated if you don't know what you're doing. Otherwise, you will need to drain it from the drain port in the transmission. Ensure you catch the fluid in a changing pan and dispose of it correctly. Finally, you want to recheck the system to ensure it's now at the right level. You will repeat the second step to verify that your work was successful. And obviously, the best way to avoid having to do any of these is to use caution when filling up the transmission in the first place. By putting in the right amount, you'll ensure your transmission runs as it should. So, there you have it. That would be all about the transmission fluid level, how to check it and what to do if it's overfilled. I hope this video was helpful and if so, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. But if not, and your transmission still keeps acting up, something else might be causing the issue. So to continue troubleshooting, check out other videos here or visit our site mechanicbase.com for more detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!